Hi. In this research clip, I'm going to present you a study led by Jean-Romain Rivière at the University of Savoie in France, in collaboration with the University of Saint-Étienne of Murcia in Spain and the University of Nice. The aim of this study was to ask the question, where does the one repetition maximum, the one RM point, um, exist on the force velocity relationship in half squat? So the research question is fairly simple. Uh, when we establish uh, the force velocity relationship for an athlete in jumping, we use typically the squat jump as the lightest load experimentally, and we use the squat jump with body weight as an additional load as the heaviest load tested. And then we extrapolate that experimental force velocity profile to have the entire force velocity spectrum as you can see here on a spreadsheet we've uh, <clears throat> sent uh, uh, on the internet. And you can also do that with a very simple iPhone and iPad app named MyJump. <coughs> Sorry for that. And basically, when you extrapolate the force velocity profile, you study the extremum of the relationship. But the big question is, uh, this extrapolation is based on a few points at the center of the relationship. What about the extreme values of F0, the maximum theoretical force, and V0, the maximum theoretical velocity? Are they aligned with the experimental data? And especially on the force side, which is the aim of this study, where is the 1RM point? Is it very close to F0? And are all these points aligned? So the two questions are, where is the 1RM point on this relationship? And is it aligned with the other points? So this brings um, interesting data for practitioners and researchers when comparing the maximum force output really experimentally obtained, the 1RM, to the theoretical extrapolation of the profile, which is F0. To do this, we asked 10 athletes who were familiar with the testing procedures to determine their 1RM in half squat on a force plate, as you can see on this video, and then to do their half squat force velocity profile using six loads from zero squat jump to 10% of body mass. All the measurements, as you see, were performed on a force plate so that we obtained for each jump and each push the force and the velocity output with a gold standard uh, measurement device. So now let's go to the results. The first result, as you can see here, is that the 1RM point was statistically aligned with the other points. This is the point for the squat jump, and this is the point for the squat jump plus body mass on the shoulders. Basically, the force velocity relationship was not different between including the 1RM point or not. What you can see here is that the 1RM point was on average 11% lower than the F0 point, which is the theoretical maximum value of force, but the good information is that this difference between 1RM and F0 force was very variable. We had a 50% variation uh, uh, between subjects, which means that some subjects had their 1RM point very close to F0, and some subjects had their 1RM point force uh, far away from F0. And this is due to the fact that the velocity at 1RM was a bit variable between subjects. So now let's go and discuss a bit uh, more this uh, information. Well, here, this is a typical example of two of the athletes tested. They have exactly the same F0 value. So their theoretical maximum force, as we extrapolated from the relationship, is equal. But because they have very different force velocity profiles, as you can see here, the force velocity profile of athlete B is much more velocity-oriented than for athlete A. Well, because of that, you can observe that their force during their 1RM push, which is their force uh, maximum experimentally um, obtained, is different. The maximum force during the 1RM is higher in athlete B than in athlete A. However, their velocity during 1RM is equal. So this is very interesting because it brings into question the force at 1RM compared to F0. Well, these two athletes had different 1RM maximum loads and the load that athlete E pushed was lower than athlete B. So at the end, 
we see that these two athletes have same F0s, so same theoretical maximum force output, but in the 1RM condition, because of their difference in force velocity orientation, they have different 1RM scores. So this questions the use of the 1RM as a real indicator of the maximum strength capability of athletes because it's influenced by their force velocity orientation. So how can we deal with that? Well, here in this graph, you can see that there is a clear relationship between the maximum velocity of athletes, their V0, and the difference between F0 and 1RM forces. The higher the V0, the lower the difference. So it means that the force velocity profile, and especially V0, influence the difference between the 1RM score and the F0 score. In our opinion, in terms of athletes monitoring, it may be more interesting to have the F0 determined rather than the 1RM. Plus, the 1RM is a bit more difficult to obtain because you have to expose the athletes to maximum strength condition. This could be great for training and muscle uh, stimulation, but it may be a bit um, more difficult for uh, long-term monitoring of people. The take-home message of this study, first, yes, the half squat 1RM point exists within the force velocity profile, so the extrapolation makes sense. And then, because of practical determination issues and variability and the influence of the FE profiles, we think that F0 is a bit more stable and um, useful, interesting indicator of maximum force capability of an athlete compared to the 1RM load. And remember, F0 is a force value, 1RM is a mass and a load value. So these are two different concepts. However, as said before, using 1RM and exposing people to maximum strength from time to time is interesting in terms of training, of course, but we think that in terms of monitoring and capabilities assessment, F0 is really time efficient because it's extrapolated from uh, sub-maximum loads, so it can be determined very easily. The next step of our research is very simple. We will uh, now focus on the other end of the force velocity profile and explore experimentally this V0 point. So stay tuned and uh, keep in touch. If you want to read the full paper, you have the reference here and it's available on our research gate uh, on demand. Bye-bye.